Good morning. It is Mr. Krogan. I'm here with a couple of uh, safety items. We're going to go over bench grinders and drill presses today. So, a uh, quick little video. I don't think it'll take more than a few minutes. I've got my safety gear ready to go. Give me one second to turn you around. And that's a bench grinder. So, uh, we have two of these in our, uh, in our shop. One's uh, slightly larger. I believe this one is an 8 inch. That one is a 6 inch. They're both 110 volt. There is a safety sheet right above them if you have questions about specific items. The basics are this. This is the tool rest. And the tool rest distance to the wheel should be an eighth of an inch or as close as you can get it. This welding rod is an eighth inch welding rod. And so if I can fit that eighth inch welding rod inside that gap right there, I need to stop and adjust it. Kind of the same thing with this uh, spark arrestor kind of deal uh, up on the top. And so uh, you want to keep that adjusted properly. It's a face shield that can flip down if you, uh, if you need that. On both of these grinders, there's an on-off switch. And if you need to adjust that tool rest, there are some screws right inside there. And with this one, get the light right, it takes a 9 16th wrench to adjust it. So we'll come over here, we'll check this one. This is a DeWalt. It takes a 10 mil to adjust this one. So this one's a little big. That's a little too big. We don't want to use that one. Um, but on this finer wheel, this one's adjusted properly. Now you can kind of see there's a little groove in the middle of this wheel. And that's from somebody just using the center of the wheel when they were grinding something. You want to move your item back and forth and use the wheel evenly. And um, you never want to use the side of the stone. Uh, there is one instance when we use the side of the stone, and that is uh, to lightly sharpen a drill bit. But until you're um, a junior or a senior and, and you're figuring out how to sharpen drill bits by hand, you're never going to use the side of the wheel for a grinding chore. All right, so that is the bench grinders and the basics right there. The next tool up today is the drill press. This is one of three drill presses we have. We have this one that gets most of the work, and then we have a rather large one that gets used infrequently. And then we have a magnetic drill press that I think most of you use on your owl boxes. So the drill press uh, speed um, control is on this side. Uh, it does have a forward and a reverse. And if you're ever using the drill press and a bad thing happens, all you have to do is hit that button, and that is the emergency stop to reset it. I'm going to give it a twist. Power will come back on up here, and away I go. Uh, the speed, set this for you. You can hear it speeding up. That is dependent on the size of the drill bit and what you are drilling. The larger the drill bit, the thicker the material, the slower that speed is going to be. The, uh, the drilling handle is on uh, the opposite side to keep the operator on this side of the machine. If you're standing in the, begin in the front of the machine, you want to be standing on that side when you do your work because the drill bit spins that way. So that is the safest place. The cutting fluid is right over here. That keeps the drill bits cool, not your material cool. There is always a vise here, a drill press clamp. Uh, there's actually three of them here today. There is always a Jacob's chuck key right here. It should not be left inside. It should not be left inside the chuck like that because if you start that, um, uh, tool with that in there, it's going to be bad. Um, and I think that's kind of it. As long as your material is clamped firmly in there and your drill, your drill bit is clamped um, firmly in the chuck, you should not have too many problems with the drill press. If you use the drill press, please make sure you clean it. So that wraps up our short 
safety video today, safety segment today, on bench grinders and drill presses.